Hey guys, welcome back to the Shadow Systems COVID isolation station here in Plano, Texas. This is the uh, the satellite uh, shot show location for those of us who have COVID. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the CR920 pistol and specifically the magazines. Okay, so we've had a lot of questions about the magazines. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanna introduce my lovely assistant, Mrs. T. Rowe, who's providing me with uh, camera work and medical support for today's uh, episode. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the magazines. Uh, the CR920 is a subcompact handgun, so size really matters. You wanna go as small as you possibly can. Uh, with a gun like this, it really made sense for us to do an all metal magazine, okay? Uh, because with an all metal magazine, the, that is basically the thinnest magazine sidewall that you can have, okay? Uh, so it is, you know, the, the profile we would normally call a stack and a half, if we were talking, are we really doing this right now? Are we really doing this? Okay. The profile would normally be called a stack and a half if we're doing a uh, you know, Glock 43X size gun or a 48 size gun. However, with a metal magazine, you get a true double column. And that's what we were trying to achieve was basically packing more rounds into a smaller package as you would expect. All right, so it is a all metal magazine. And the base uh, magazine that comes with the gun is a 10 plus one. And then you have a 13 plus one uh, that gives you a, a thumb rest is, or a, rather a pinky rest as well. Uh, it is the same tube for both of them. Okay, why did we design our own magazine? Well, I already said first, it's because we wanted to maximize capacity and control things. But a lot of people have said, well, what about the shield magazine? Okay, the shield magazine essentially did the same thing. They used an all metal construction magazine for a um, stack and a half Glock size gun to get you an extra uh, five rounds in that particular case. Um, so they did the same thing. They, they gave you additional rounds by going all steel. Uh, the issue with the Shield Magazine really is that it is designed for a different gun. And so, you know, what are some of the limitations there? Well, for one, it's only a right hand uh, only magazine. So it is not reversible. Um, we obviously wanted to have a magazine that could be you know, used with the button on either the left or right side of the frame. So that's just kind of a limitation. So we didn't, you know, use the shield magazine as the base model for the gun because again, it's only right hand use. Um, the other thing is, you know, it's kind of longer than we needed. I mean, we were talking about keeping the gun relatively small. So our magazine is 13 plus one. If you were to put a shield arms magazine in the gun, it sticks out quite a bit, okay? Um, now I want to emphasize it is possible actually, to run one of these in an, a CR920 if you really want to do that, but you just have to switch out the magazine button because the magazine button that we put in the gun is designed around our magazine tube. Uh, and so this magazine button that comes with the gun works with our magazine tube, our 13 and our 10. Um, if you really, really want to use these magazines, let's say you have some, then you can put in a uh, either a Glock style or I think they make a button and then you would be able to use the magazine in this gun, albeit just right hand only, okay? So it's not totally incompatible, it's just not compatible with our magazine button, which is designed to be reversible for these, for these magazines. Okay, uh, I, I know there's also some questions about availability. Well, so you know, our plan is to make a boatload of these magazines because we realize, of course, that um, you know, you want to have extras and that's a concern when a new gun comes out with its own magazine, you want to make sure they're available. So we're sensitive to that and that's part of the plan. Um, and as far as pricing goes, uh, I don't want to quote it right now, but I will say that it's going to be very reasonable and uh, probably more aggressive and less costly than some of the other magazines that are out there on the market that, that you might think about for guns like this. Okay, so that's the deal on the magazines. It is a proprietary design. You do get a 10 and you do get a 13 with the gun. If you wanna put the base pad for a 13 on your 10 round tube, you can buy just the base pad and have two 13s, that's an option. Uh, and after that, if you really love the Shield Arms magazine, yes, you can swap the button out and put it in there and you should be able to run it that way. Although we can't really guarantee that it's gonna you know, function with other people's magazines. All right, hope that was helpful. And I guess we'll see you for our next COVID isolation station video later today.